Right, so Nicki Minaj versus Piers Morgan. I feel like Piers Morgan has been waiting to move on from Meghan Markle to somebody else. And he's found Nicki Minaj, but she is having none of it. And these two are really going back and forth. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this video. So, Nicki Minaj, guys, and Mr. Pierce Morgan uh, are really going back and forth. Professor Witty beefing with the ghastly Nicki Minaj, one of the rudest little madams I've ever met, is not the breaking news that I expected, to, um, that I expected today, but it, but it is most welcome. She's peddling lies that will cost lives. She responds, Sir, I've never met you. I know we all look alike. A rude little madam. I like it. Has a special ring to it. Thanks, Pierce. Love the accents. I love to come to chat. Scones, tea, clown nose and big red shoes for you. Let me know, babe. And uh, he responds, says, Madam, we met on um, America's Got Talent when you appeared as a guest act, but you refused to say hello to my three young um, sons because you were too busy. Oh, and it's Pierce. I know, we Brit names all sound alike. Loser! <laughs> Someone is Pedro. Loser! <laughs> she then responds, stop effing lying. I never turned down pics with kids. If a middle person told you that, they were out of line. Don't blame me, you stupid piece of sh. Then she says, wait, America's got, America's got talent. What's that, you guys? I was an American Idol. Um, he gonna make me go live, child. Does he have an IG? I wanna go live with him enough, ugly. Um, someone then says, um, no, remember you were actually on the show. You guessed, you did a guest performance with Flo Rida. And she says, that's not me. Evidently is. Aggravated by Pierce Morgan. And then she ends up saying this as well. Yes. Yes, hello, Prime Minister Boris. It's Nicki Minaj. Um, I was just uh, calling to tell you that I thought you were so amazing on the news <laughs> this morning. And I'm actually British. Um, I Not was British. born there. I, I went to university there. I went to Oxford. Not um, Oxford. I went so she does that, you know, her British accent. Because Boris Johnson also mentioned Nicki Minaj in some way. This mix-up of Boris and Nicki is very... Confu it's just very confusing because I didn't expect that either. So that in itself was very confu just weird. And of course, Pierce Morgan likes to poke, 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 poke until he gets reactions. He likes to do this. We know how Pierce likes to play the game. So, you know, he wanted that reaction. He's got that reaction. They've gone back and forth a little bit. And I didn't expect these two to go back and forth either. Um, I really don't. I really don't. But... Statistical evidence does say that for those obviously, you know, who have had vaccines, whether it be the COVID or previous vaccines, you are in a better position than those that have not. The stats are all there for you to see the facts. The facts and figures are there. If you choose to ignore the facts, you are ignorant. It's simple as that. And so when you have people, not that I'm saying Nikki is one of these individuals because she's never said that she's refusing to get it. But the way she put it was wrong. And I'm glad that she's, you know, trying to clear it up because I think she worded it very wrong. And more people are upset with the whole STD situation, whatever the hell she was saying. But for people who refuse to get it, Everybody say, oh, it's your choice, it's your choice, and you know, and that I understand, everybody has free will um, to write with the right to choose. But for those who don't choose to get it, and you're in these gatherings, you're in these big crowds, and you know, you're, you don't care for the fact that you're negative or so forth, you can, be put, you can put other people's lives in danger. And if that life is you, you who's watching this, and if, or anybody that you love, because you know, this person decided not to get X, Y, Z, and it's affected other people around, then it's a whole different kettle of fish, and you're going to respond to the situation differently if you disagree with the whole idea of the vaccine mandate. I don't agree with the whole idea of, you know, you can't enter this club if you need to be double this, you need to be double that. Like, I also feel that negative tests can also be viable, but vaccines have been part of history for a very long time. Since the Ottoman Empire, way before the Ottoman Empire, people have had to have vaccine passports or stamps, you know, on, you know, cards or whatever so that they can be to travel into certain spaces and move around that's not part of new that's not that's not that's not new and i do feel like with social media there's a lot of misinformation um i do feel like when it comes to black and brown um, black and brown communities especially you know a lot of people have that mistrust when it comes to the vaccine and i can understand that as well because of previous times and stuff that we have seen um and i feel like there is space for education there is space for research as well but when there's enough research out there already been done and you're, you're doing your own research what own research are you doing because the own research you're doing is more time stuff that will already agree with what you're saying and there's the research against vaccines i think is very poor I like i i'm very pro vaccine i've got an entire family full of medical doctors entire family who work in the covid wards who've seen it with their own eyes 
when you have lost a lot of people these towns probably haven't even been affected by covid and maybe agreeing against it when you've been in my position where you've lost people to covid in your own hands do you understand they're dying in your arms and you realize how important the vaccine is, especially for people of elder ages and the significance that it has done to people the facts are all there guys i'm so sorry of course there's going to be side effects to a vaccine every vaccine has a side effect like i don't understand and if something happens to somebody everyone's a scare is going to happen to you that's happened to every the form of how many vaccines have we already had since we were born? Plenty. And there's been plenty of side effects to those. And some people, it has happened to it. Yes, it's unfortunate, but it does and it can happen. That's normal. But with social media, misinformation, everything just goes viral. And, you know, when you lose people and, and they die in your own arms and you realize how important this is. And if you look at the stats, I keep saying this, people want to ignore the information and they want to look for their own information because they want to do what, what they agree with. When you look for the stats, when you look to see how much of a difference it has made and the, the figures, the figures, the, the, the less amount of people, whether it be admitted into hospitals and the less amount of people that, you know, are in a far better situation. Yes, you can still get COVID. The vaccine doesn't eliminate COVID. It just increases prevention of being, you being in a fast worse state, of you being on an oxygen meter. I know so many stories of people that I have in my family that work in COVID wards and they look at these patients who literally, uh, you know, have oxygen masks or whatever and they have low levels and so forth and they wish they took it but they didn't xyz you just it puts you in a better position there's history about it as well and i do feel like people just come from, i don't know the lack of um, education um you know ignorance as well um i just there's so many reasons good and bad and their fault and not your fault for why you may or may not know about things that you should um and i do feel like I'm pro, I'm, I'm pro vaccine and I've been saying that and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be shamed into thinking otherwise. Um, and I do feel like it solves, it's definitely saves lives. We've had va many of vaccines before in our own lifetimes, let alone hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years before we even lived and other humans, they were also putting out and doing up vaccines and so, and like none, this whole concept of a vaccine passport is not new guys. It's, it's not new. It's been happening for hundreds of years. So I don't understand. I don't understand, guys. Anyways, I'm pro-vaccine. Ain't nothing going to change that. I've had both vaccines, and I've been I'm fully vaccinated. My last vaccine I had like over a um, month and a half ago. Zero side effects for me. Actually, I've had nothing, um, and I'm grateful. But some people have minor. Some people have major. Unfortunately, there's a very small population that it does happen to. Um, that's very normal. Let me know your thoughts, are guys. Subscribe, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video. I'm not going to be arguing with nobody in the comments. So you guys can say whatever you want. I will not be responding to you guys when it comes to. Uh, whatever study you found to prove X, Y, Z. The facts are all there and if you want to ignore it, you're ignorant. Simple as that.